You're with Main New. This is James Huang. I'm here with Drew, Drew Salam, Cypher Lina. How's it going, sir? It's going pretty good. I wanted to ask you a few things about uh, like how you got into hip hop and what are your musical influences. I got into hip hop when uh, I would go up to Virginia to visit my cousins where my dad came from. They, you know, had already been into hip hop for a while, like, and then, you know, from that point on, I just, you know, I just wanted to know more. Like, I just, I just wanted to listen to it. I just wanted to know more. Other people knew about it, I wanted to talk about it. You know, and then, you know, eventually, you know, by the time I was like 10 years old, I was like, yo, I just wanted to, let me try to come up with some rhyme. Having that you know, early knowledge of, of hip hop, you know, made me more accepting towards people who look different. You know, they, they put me on a like Wu Tang, Tupac. Yeah. Bone Thugs and Harmony, you know, Biggie. So I, what really caught my ear was Bone Thugs and Harmony. So I, yeah, I love that shit. Man. And when, when I was like five, six years old, uh, Bone Thugs and Harmony was what I wanted to hear. Like, it just it captivated me more than everything. You know, when people would like do like a break in their rhyme and then they would catch that shit with a crazy, crazy rhythm. Like, it was the rhythms and the patterns that, that caught my ear the most. How would you describe your style in terms of when you're spinning in the cypher or when you're looking, when you're uh, trying to get featured in a song? What are some of the topics you talk about? Um, and what is, how do you deliver that? I have a tendency to try to like, get it straight to the point. Imagine like, okay, you know, if I was to you know, be allowed to say something to the whole world, what would I say? What needs to be said to the whole world? Like, what do people need to hear? Like, they, they see I'm open-minded, I'm a free thinker, and you know, I'm not, I'm not, I try not to trap myself with any ideologies or, or any, like, you know, certain opinions. Yeah. Uh, and speaking about the cipher, um, what what went about when like when it first started? How did it develop? Because you're the first person that I, I get to ask about the cipher in this series, so I kind of want to know like your perspective on like how it grew, um, how how you've been a part of it, and um, how um, you, where you see it going in the future. It was started on Mike Live of God Cipher Divine God. God Cypher the Vine was Mike Live and Creme de la Creme. Okay. They were a duo, like, you know, Mike Live was with um, 1100 Hunter, so Tucson, Ghost Dog, you know, all the 1100 cats, and then, you know, it was a dude on um, Smiles, it was on um, Johnny Storm, it was uh, S. Dot Gold, um, C Minor, Ill Tactics, you know who you are. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you was, there was um, Sharp, yeah, Sharp, J Memory, yeah, these, these cats were all at the first Cypher. And they were inside a tunnel doing a photo shoot for the album cover for God Cypher Vine. And that's where Mike Live dropped the idea, yo, let's do this every week. And then, you know, we saw the, the photos from, you know, those of Callie and Derek that did the photo shoot. And, you know, they, put the photos up by the, you know, by the end of the week. And then we were all like, we saw the photos, we were like, yo, that's where I want to be, yo. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I want to be out there. True. Like, yeah, so, we, you know, I had, like, went out there with the camo on, like, you know what I'm saying? I seen the Eternal out there with the black hoodie. You know what I'm saying? I remember um, uh, that Lazarus came out. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm, I remember uh, seeing, yeah, Lazarus on uh, Rome Jeter. 
Sosa was there, like that second one was major, you know what I'm saying? So, and it was like, was you know, I remember it, it was one moment where Lazarus, like, you know, everybody put the, you know, fists in the middle, like, you know, we were like, nah, one, nah, nah, one, nah. And then, you know what I'm saying? That shit was, that shit was like set in the stone on that moment, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, this is like the tradition from now on, like we meet up at a tunnel. This is knowledge of self. So if you don't get it, then you probably need some help. Huh? So we gonna have to help these motherfuckers out. So you know, we gotta let them know what the hell we about. Yeah. So when we come together, yeah. we all get better. I mean, when we come yeah. together, that's when we become that divine being. Like it would like start up and die down. Johnny Storm was like, yo, let's bring back the cypher in like 2012 in the fall. And that's when we really were like, like at this point, you know what I'm saying, I was like, man, I'm not, I'm, you know, whatever. Like, you know, I'm, I'm about done with rap. Like, you know, rap doesn't really have any kickback of sorts. Like, yeah, I, I wasn't getting anything out of it, real. I was getting bored with it. And then Johnny Storm was like, look, you know, let's, um, Let's start a cypher back. I was like, all right, fuck it, let's do it. Right. Cypher has taught me to sit back and, and listen to other people and really see where their, their mind is at, where their heart is at, you know what I'm saying? This is your chess word, right? Yeah. Like, how does chess have significance in um, the cypher and like within the community that you um, hang around with? You know, the, the chess just fit so perfectly with with what we were doing, mm -hmm. you know? Like, you know, and I, I grew up playing chess like with my dad and my brothers, and then I, I took a chess course at school. You know, chess, like, contains the same, like, basic principles that are in stuff like the I Ching, you know? Like, the, the eight, eight times eight and the 64 combinations. And you know, these with the pieces and the rules, like this, you know, this has so many combinations, like infinite combinations, but like it's crazy, like it's like the original video game. <laughs> like it's like a virtual reality yeah. where you know you can actually play chess without the chessboard and play blindfolded because there is the algebraic notation. Mm -hmm. You know, A's, A, and like A through right. H and one through eight, you know, and those different combinations, the, the code, you know, that's the thing, like chess has a code to it. And what is code but the cipher? Chess is a, chess is, itself is a, is a game that is based on cipher, like mm. on code. Yeah, so, so it, it fits perfectly. Plus, like, you know, look, you get each person. You know, each side gets 16 pieces, right. you know what I'm saying? You, when you step into the cypher, you know what I'm saying? You want to come with your, your bars, like, you know what I'm saying? It's the art 16 bars, you know what I'm saying? Cats got verses, they come through with the 16s and 32s all the time. Cypher comes from the word for zero and also the word for a number or a digit. Right. So, so all the numbers are ciphers. And cipher is also the word for code or logarithm. Like zero contains all numbers yeah. and all numbers contain zero. Like zero has five principles to it, right? Mm -hmm. There's, you know, the, a number plus zero is a number. Uh, a number a zero minus a number. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's the basic. Yeah, like those, those are the principles. And there's one of those principles or two of them that are very interesting to me. It's like the uh, uh, any number divided by zero is infinite, or, you know, or it's undefined. Really, it's, it can't it doesn't work. <laughs> and then there's the other one of uh, exponents. Zero oh. to the power of zero equals one. Right. Any number to the power of zero. What does that even mean? <laughs> and then, and then, when you, you, you know, so, so when you take that and apply it to this like group, okay, the cipher to the power of the cipher equals one. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, that's 
it's crazy, right? You know, have ciphers you know, here in, in Raleigh, mm -hmm. at State, you know, had the cipher on Boone, out in, in ECU. Mm -hmm. you know, like, when you get all these ciphers going and all this energy and all these different places connecting, you know what I'm saying? That's unity. And you know, cats need to, they come and they, they you know, they, they just, you know, they just now learning how to rap. They need to practice. You know what I'm saying? They might need to get, get you know, have a, a older MC teach them how to rap a little bit. It's a real thing now. Like, you know, classes in session. Monday night classes in session at, at the time. You know, it, it's not, you know, I'm not the only one that's, that's out there teaching stuff. You know what I'm saying? Twiz is out there teaching. Eternal is out there teaching. Mm -hmm. Fernando's out there teaching. You know what I'm saying? Ghost Dog is out there teaching. Right. You know, they're teaching cats the, the fundamentals, the basics, and the, the essence of, of rap. One last question I, I was wanted to get to is uh, how how does the city of Raleigh um, affect you in daily life and, or and, and uh, your music? That's a beautiful question. Yeah, I believe. It's like right here at the crossroads of the north and the south, you know, the capital, the heart of the state, you know, this beautiful state. We have a beautiful state with a rich culture, cultural diversity, and history. You know, I'm, I'm just blessed to be a part of it. Like, this is the land of the planet. You know, I, I, the wildlife is, is still rich, and there's plenty of it. I love the state, I love the people, you know, all the people that I grew up around that made me who I am today. I love it, like, you know, it's, anywhere I go, that's, that's what I have. Yeah. Um, I think that's a good place to take it all, take it all in. This has been James Hong. I've been blessed by the presence of Andrew Weaver. Drew, thank you so much, man. Appreciate it. Um, and yes, may new to the next time. Thanks. <laughs> All right, man. That's it.